What do you think? Clara? Stop it. That's right. I'm being serious right now. Okay, so the million dollar question is, what do you think I have in this pen? Food? Definitely not. And Mr. Cow is over there because he's very excited about straw. One of the things I've noticed since it got gloomy is that, you know, the goats have been staying inside more and more, which is the case for most of winter. Last night I went to check on the boys and give them dinner and Duke did something kind of interesting. So I'm keeping an eye out on what's going on with the goats. Everything is soaking wet and everything is mucky and muddy and you know, you can clean as much as possible inside the barn. But you know, the goat poop, the little berries, it's impossible to keep off the ground and it's just getting smushed into the soil and even though the grass is trying to grow in the goat's pen where they've been hanging out it's just not enough to cover all the mud and all the stickiness of this weather whoever said <laughs> That keeping goats it's not like going to the gym <laughs> it's totally lying to you this is so exhausting needless but. to say we haven't been uh, letting the goats out meaning to the pasture because it's so wet and it's been raining so it's really we just take them out for a few minutes and then they would want to go in because they don't like the rain and it's not good to have a wet goat so so it just makes sense that they stay inside their pen and again I've been cleaning it because of all the damages of the storm but let me show you there's still a lot of debris and as you can see a lot of mud which makes with the warmer temperatures makes the perfect uh, environment for parasites and that kind of things that are very uh, prominent this time of the year. Okay, so the million dollar question is, what do you think I have in this pen? Food? Definitely not. Uh, treats for goaties? Definitely not. And you, you are teaching all these children to do that. And stop smiling when I'm talking to you. Stop smiling. Look, look at your children. They're all chewing the cud, living their best lives. Mr. Gawa's always he's lost, but it almost feels like you're just trying to teach them to be bad and beg to get in. If you really want to get in, I mean, you're more than welcome to go to bed early. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? I like when you're chewing your cud. Makes me feel better about you being all poopy butt and everything. 
You stop chewing the cud when I look at you with my camera? Oh, there you go. Good boy. And Mr. Cow is over there because he's very excited about straw. You decided he likes it better than hay, so he's just gonna eat it. It's not bad for them, but it has zero <laughs> nutritional value in it. <laughs> Mr. Cow? What is my boy doing? Being all cute. Clara? Stop it. That's right. I'm being serious right now. You can't keep teaching these children to be like you. Needy. And impatient. Gaia. She's eating a little bit of straw and spider webs, you know. And Bree who actually needs to be exactly where she is. Gosh. Mr. Cow can hold his own, don't worry about him. He was so bullied when he was little, but he, he knows how to pull his own now. Do you guys think you're gonna convince me? second you clean the barn, the second that they start eating the straw. You guys, go outside. It's not raining. Hi, Rox. Be right there. Don't get out. Just in case there's a, a, a little drop of water that falls on your head. We're supposed to catch a break tomorrow with some sun. And it's going to be a day full of projects that are non related so today it's my day to try to get the big part of things that need to happen in the goat house of course in preparation of um, Mocha's kidding on the 12th that's her due date but we'll see what she pulls on us but I'm really really behind with all the storms and the time that I had to take off I did take some time off work too so of course it was just not the perfect time to deal with a lot of the stuff that I need to get done before Mocha delivers her babies. 